Oh no, not again. There we go. <laughs> Hello, chat. Sorry for the wait. I was having some technical issues with uh, VTuber Plus that I seem to have resolved themselves after playing around with the program a little bit. Without further ado, apologize for about 18 minutes late, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Outward, like we planned for for today. Mm -hmm. G.O.G. Glad you can make it. Now then, let's go ahead and start us off. Outward. How do I into play? There we go. Now we can into play games. weird with the... Something seems weird with the... Sound. Is that just my imagination? Please tell me that's just my imagination. But I wouldn't be surprised if I have to unfuck something else as well. Nope, there it goes. Testing, one, two, three. Cool. Now then, when we last left ourselves last week, we had just found the uh, hero town. The hero town. I don't remember the actual name of the place, so I'm just calling it the Desert Town, the place where you find your friend Yazan. I have not. I was planning on joining the Hero Nation in their quest to do heroic things, but the sights of a literal slum and a wall separating you between the slum from the rest of the rich sections of the city, not to mention that everything is overly expensive in is in that city, kind of uh, disturbed me. So I'm planning on visiting the marsh lands to go see a theocratic state and see if that's any better. Although it was kind of a pain in the ass to get to the uh, desert town without dying to begin with, so I might be forced to be stuck here anyway, but we'll see how far we can go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's dive in. What misadventures will we get into today in the wonderful world of Outward? Too many, I'm sure. Too many. I love how happy the music sounds. In game, the sound design in this game overall is just awesome, to be honest. And why am I overweight? Oh, I have a bunch of crap to sell. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow after I take a nice nap, though. So I'm part. I've beat. I am beaten. Where is my bedroll? Deploy. I still love the fact that you can, that vagrancy is totally legal in this game. Or in town, I should say. I need to make sure that whatever items I want to repair are equipped because the game will not repair them otherwise. Recurve bow, dark nobleman's attire. 
this big ass backpack. All right, go use use the fur tent. You could tell it's daylight, or it's really early in the morning, it's still dark, but you could see the sunlight peeking out in the distance. That's a literal purple fire. That's kind of cool, I wonder what's up there. I'm well rested, and I need to drink a sippy of water, and then I'm going to sell a bunch of this stuff that I got with me, and I need to eat some of this food before it spoils. I'll be very upset if I do not. One thing at a time, though. See armors. Oh, so that's the problem again, hmm? I got way too much... ...clothing. Let's see, we are in the middle of town, I'm assuming. But where in the middle of town are we? Supposed to do this based off landmarks, and I can't for the life of me tell what these are supposed to represent. Is it this one? That's the entrance, though. And Yazan, if it's that one, Yazan's supposed to be here in the center of town, which he is not, so it can't be this. It's a big ass stag there. That must be the palace, I'm guessing. Wait, no, isn't this the entrance? Yeah, this is the entrance to the, uh, the entrance to the, this main city. Which is right there. So Yuzan should be there on the left, along with the inn. There should be an alchemist to my far right. We could sell our garbage to Shopkeeper Soul up here, and possibly to the Master Smith up there. Mm -hmm. But what am I going to sell? Anything and everything? Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my bag is overweight. It's, you don't need to tell me that. Shit! Is that how much it is? The 100 coins have a combined weight of 1. How much? Can I help you? This worries me. Okay, um... Oh, I see. So, 1 gold ingot weighs 0. 0.4. This is a very simple way to... This is a good way to, like, save weight in your bag, I suppose. But I should also be using it to, like, make new foods. Gain new weapons and armor. I really wish that shit in this game was not so expensive. Or at least, maybe the problem is not so much the game itself, but this mean city is very expensive. Want to buy something? Oh boy. Nevertheless, I do need to get better backpacks. I'm using what backpack am I using right now actually? To carry more stuff. I've gotten pretty good at just dropping things and Fighting without it anyway, and as long as you don't die, I mean, it'll end up respawning with you anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Want to buy something? Oh boy. The alchemist's backpack prevents food 
from spoiling as quickly, but I've never really had a problem with spoiled food, to be honest. But the trader backpack weighs so much. This is cool that this actually protects you in addition to... That actually, like, adds to your defense rating. Chitin Desert Tunic. Light armor, soothing tea, dry mushroom bar. So much junk. An oil lantern that lasts a really long time. And torches, which keep you cool. Which is actually very useful. I'm probably going to need one of these. Unless the game teaches me how to make one. Nine silver is nothing. I can make that back fairly quickly, all things considered. I could even sell some of my garbage here. I want. I feel like I need to sell this cleaver halberd since I don't use dual hand weapons. But at the same time, it's the freaking gut sword. How can I possibly sell that and feel good about myself? The answer is I cannot sell that and feel good about myself. That was a trick question. Um... Uh, I could definitely also save room by turning some of my silver into gold. I need to keep one of the cold stones, because I remember that I need that for something. And I was told by Jones last session that I will need this ruby eventually. Right now, though, I guess I, money is more important, though, isn't it? Choices, choices, choices. And meanwhile, let's eat the spoiled the food that's starting to spoil. Man, my jerky is almost gone, too. The meat stew should last a little bit longer, at the very least. Cool, I know how to make an ice flame torch. How do I make an ice flame torch? A cold stone? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That sounds expensive. I mean, I can't... I barely find any blue sand as it is. And I have to use that to make... Cold stones? Well, thanks for nothing, I guess. I had to make use of those things before they spoiled. Do I need any more bandages? I thought I'm pretty much stocked up in bandages. Cool. I wonder if I can use the bandages to make any poison weapons. Or poison rags, I should say. The trader garb would be better back home where it's cold. But... Ah, uh, impact resistance 6, cold 6, pouch 4. What do you value, value more, I guess? Well, that's a cool looking outfit. Dark Nobleman's attire is just a dress, which is just a cute dress. And Scavenger's coat is a coat. Which magically makes my legs disappear for some reason. Oh, there they are. It's honestly hard to decide sometimes which of these things I should get. 
but I think more practically speaking, since these both have the same cold rating, and the best way to survive in this game is not is in addition to stacking armor to just not get hit forehead, and this has more durability. I don't think in good conscience I should keep the scavenger coat. Now it'd be nice if I just had a place to store all my uh, loot, but I don't think I'm gonna be getting any of those anytime soon. I should probably go talk to his eye and see what he has to say. Make him do a simple quest or something. Like I did in the uh, other town. Hey, Azan. Long time no see. You made it. Welcome, my friend, to the heroic kingdom of Levant. Ah, <sighs> to. Is that it? You made it. Good to hear. We could always use someone who knows what they're doing. Overpopulation crisis. Listen. Sir Montgomery, Baron of the slums, he's usually outside his manor. Huh, that's weird. And he, when I was talking to the um, other person instead, in back in the forest village, the dialogue didn't say I was flat out going to join. It said I was considering joining. Listen. Is this like a holy, a holy fountain or something? Well, let's go ahead and talk to the Baron and see if he's as slimy as I'm suspecting that he will be. I also want to go check out the royal family and see what they're like. Gizan mentions that we should, that Yvonne Levant's trying to only hire the higher people that deserve to pretty much work here, but I think I want to see if the townspeople deserve myself. So you know, as they say, I'm kind of a big deal. Hmm. <laughs> Nah, not really. That is a beautiful headgear, though. At first, I thought that was a pompadour. It does not appear to be a pompadour. It appears to be... Um... Like a weird-ass helmet. Just grab onto it and, like, grab him by the horns or something like that. <laughs> and the music's not kill overpowering my voice again, is it? There we go. That should do. A new refugee. Hmm? Well, as long as you pay your dues, you're welcome to stay. Listen up. So I just have to straight up give this guy money, and he'll let me stay. Is that it? That's kind of dumb. All right. Um, how about I talk to the gate guard person or whatever, or Cyrene, I guess. The Heroic Kingdom of Levant was going to be my first choice, but now I'm kind of sus about them. Oh, hey. Was he what always here? A mercenary trainer. Swiftfoot. So with her breakthrough point, I can make myself slightly faster. Ooh, guns. God, yes. Decreases stamina and movement penalties from wearing armor by 50%. I guess we're going to be stuck in Levant a little bit longer because they actually have useful stuff here. They have like useful skill or skill trainers here.
Wait, you need to. Oh, so fast maintenance and. Okay. Cool. I feel lighter already. I'm wearing armor, he said. I mean, this is armor, right? Yeah, they, these count as armor. Of course, I'm broke again, or down to 50 silvers at least, but we'll just have to make do with killing things and selling the crap what to these people. I do for you? Hmm. May not this guy. What can I do for you? Let's go see what to make of the king and queen of this fabled land. What Prince Jaden. That's cool. How can I help you? Use your ears. <laughs> Use my ears. I'm the one who convinced King Simeon King Calixa to declare Levant a nation outside the Blue Chamber's laws. Not one of us regrets it. Here, anyone can be free to pursue their dreams without tribal laws restricting them. Oh, that's interesting. Listen up. What the fuck is Simeon's Gambit? But the king himself is just going to give teach me a skill. That's interesting. Okay, so he has this big fuck off uh, pike or pike. She has this really cool glowy shield. Huh? I am sorry, but unless you have official business here, I do not have time to spend. What is business. Simeon's Gambit? Listen up. I need to look this up. I don't want to spend my silvers on nothing. Let me see here. Simeon's Gambit. Simeon's Gambit. Official. It's the first thing to pop up on the official AppWord wiki. Oh, cool. But it requires a spear. Not cool. I don't use spears. But basically what it does is it blocks attacks. Huh, that's kind of cool. Well, I have this, but I guess this is not a spear. This is a halberd. There is a difference. Let's see. It would be a shame to sell this weapon, to be honest. It's so cool looking, but it's taking up so much space in my inventory if I can't use, if I can't fight with it effectively. I guess the same could be said about why am I carrying a shiv still, right? I know, I've gotten quite fond of my fang axe. Inflicting bleed in people. Causing to just bleed out. I should probably dump. I have a lot of things here to dump, though. I have wondered if maybe I should trade in my tower shield for a smaller but more effective smaller shield. It also does 18 damage to people when I hit them. Alright. So Sirene should just be outside. Oh, wonderful. Another mouth 
to feed. You're kind of a bitch. Show me that you're a mage, and I'll give you my approval. Uh... Got a job for you. Show me that you're a mage. I've got a job for you. So, in order to join the Kingdom of Levant, I have to become a mage. I don't know how to feel about that. It's a good thing I waited. What we're going to do instead, we're going to do what I said earlier. I'm going to go ahead and sell some stuff, get some supplies, and make my way out of town. Ooh la la. And we're gonna go visit the marshlands next. See what to be seen. What's there to be seen there? Listen. Oh boy. Man, they got some cool weapons or cool stuff here, though. All these guns. A lighter shield by far. This one's a little over less, a little bit more than half the weight of the tower shield. It'd probably be suit, probably suit my purposes a little bit better than what I'm currently using. They got some decent armor here too, but it's fairly expensive. I would need to grind for a bit to get those, or I can just build them myself over time. The armor is so cool, though. Look at this thing. Crafting, Assassin Claymore. It looks like one way or another I'm going to go hunt. I will have to go hunting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, time to sell my excess stuff. Uh, this, this, this. We'll keep the boots because I don't have any replacement boots right now. I'm gonna keep the jewel meat myself. I'm gonna give him my ruby as well because I don't need a ruby right now. That palladium scrap sure is worth a pretty penny. It's a good thing I kept my mining pickaxe with me. Oh, well, thank you, Ben Boy. Much appreciated. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the crystal powder because I know I need that for something. I don't want to sell the cleaver halberd. Fuck it, I'm keeping the cleaver halberd. All right, 177 silvers. Let's go. Do I use it to purchase a steel shield and dump my tower shield? The tower shield's been good to me. It's just so heavy. Like, ridiculously heavy. You don't think I should sell the tower shield? For a smaller one? I like that it protects against arrows and stuff. How you doing, Jones? Welcome to the stream. That's a good point. Everything is overpriced in this town, so if I do buy anything, I should probably buy it or find it elsewhere. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's a good point. Uh, 
Ah, uh, I'm a lot lighter now. Yeah, then let's go see what the tailor is like here. to go upstairs not that there's much up here anyway smooth the tailor Am I in the right place? Where am I? Oh, here they are. How can I help you? No, this is an alchemist. This I went to the wrong place. Coming. It's a shame that you need magic spells to use chakrams. But if this is the alchemist, I went the wrong direction. I need to head north and into the right. I am thirsty. What happened here? Simple tent. Oh, that's cool. I learned dark varnish. And I can go ahead and eat this for today's breakfast. Oh, I love his hat. Yes. This worries me. Okay. Yes. That's good to know. This worries me. Mm -hmm. Everything is so expensive in this town. Look at this stuff. But man, do they look nice. White blue hats. I'm not a mage though, so I have no use for those at this time. Does Engineer Ornstein sell... Oh, you know what I do need? I do need bread. I need bread, and I need to make some toast, and I need to give it to the uh, crazy dude in the slums. Can I help you? This worries me. Do you have any bread? Bread for two silver is not a problem to me. Thank you. I'm glad at least the food's not as pricey as some other, as everything else in this game. I need lumber to make a puck. I don't have any wood. And if I don't have any wood, I can't make a campfire. I did not think this through. Um... Wish there was like a campfire or some co or a cooking station or something that I could use or borrow to make food with. And that would be nice. Sure is a lot of junk everywhere. Oh, this is cool. Bullion of the Predator.
Once again, running out of room. What am I going to do about this? I guess we could take a stroll outside really quick and see if I could find uh, or harvest wood from some place. Unless, are there a tree? There's a tree right there. I'm dumb. I'm so glad the game lets you just take apart trees that are just residing in towns with no visible damage to the tree itself. Sometimes when you think that there's a nonsensical game design decision in the game, you find a reason for it to exist. I'm also glad that there's no failure rate in this game. So I don't need to worry about accidentally burning my toast. Now then, let us go back to the slums. We have to go south from here. Well, I mean, I was wondering about that too, and I looked right at the description for it, and then I remembered that when I was in when I was in, when I used to go camping, sometimes we would just get slices of bread and we would just put it on a stick and stick it over the fire and voila, you made toast. Because what is toast but slightly warm bread that has a little bit of burnt sides to it. And now, having said that, I, my mouth is watering because I've not eaten toast in a long time. And I miss toast. Uh, but I digress. Yeah, I, I totally just made toast just now. Why, did you just find toast in the wild or something? <laughs> Is that even possible? You've never seen toast? Well, now you have. And I need it to give it to this crazy guy that's hiding in a uh, barrel. Hopefully he'll give something cool in return. Is that the guy's barrel? I think it is. It is. Here he is. Greetings, friend. Can you lend me a hand? Remember this. Yes. Can you lend me a hand? Remember this. Uh, All right. I need to give him Godberry Jam, and I just turned my remaining Godberry thingamajigger into a travel ration. Where am I going to find godberries in the middle of the f- Eh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had toast in a while either. Gotta say, it's very rare that I actually enjoy doing a fetch quest like I am doing this one. If only because it's super nonsensical. Is that a sewer? Can I enter it? No, you cannot. Uh, it would be really convenient if there just happened to be godberries growing in this town as well. But I somehow doubt I will be that lucky. I wonder if it's also sold at the marketplace for cheap.
And those are not gobberry bushes, they're too big. I also low-key like all these... The fuck? There's just an astral potion scroll here. I low-key also like all these... Uh, respawning junk piles that just happen to be scattered around town. Yeah, the sort of thing you would think would take away from the gameplay difficulty, but considering how difficult this game can be to begin with, I do not mind anymore. Wait, I had a campfire here this whole time already? Shit. It's five in the evening. What are these cool? Wow. What are these? Can I help you? This worries me. Oh, shit, man. Gabe Jam is like 14 silvers. I mean, I'm not fucking going all the ah thorny desert dessert with high uh, ah the things I do. All right, what am I gonna trade? No, we kind of need that. I actually can't afford to give up most of these things. Alright. So, I got the jam. If this ho- If this hobo is like- give, Put it- Put it- It's just like- Putting me for a ride, I'm going to snap his head off. Clean off his shoulders. This is not the correct direction for the slums. Once more into the slums before it gets too dark and difficult to see where I'm going. Or more difficult, I should say, than usual. I wonder if I just cooked here. Nah. Where was it again? Here it is. Greetings, friend. Can you lend me a hand? Remember this. Yes. Can you lend me a hand? Ah! <laughs> oh, and I just sold my palladium. Well, my so we will have to find palladium again and mine it at least I know where to mine it from mine at least I know where to mine it now so I've been there once hopefully we have respawned by now if not a little bit of exploration around town can do us some good especially since we have things that are we have the necessary equipment for it now more or less
Do I even have any metal pieces? No. I guess not. Let's go to sleep. And meanwhile, we will repair our equipment yet again. Which we will need to equip before we can even... There we go. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon? Okay. Fine. Set up town. Use fur tent. Alright, we all set. Go hunting for ores and the whatnots. That's a beautiful sight. <laughs> With no sunlight. Or at least not at the moment. It's also nice and cool out here. Now that I'm outdoors, where would I start to search for minerals? Probably down there in the desert floor. These are the main entrances. Ancient ruins dot there. And San Rose Cave is to the far south. I wonder what's there. Let's go visit San Rose Cave. Since people keep talking about it, so it sounds important. Along the way, I hope to find stuff to loot, to take back home and sell. Like this broken war machine we got going on here. Oh, you can gather cacti as well. Cool. Is this edible on its own? 
Well, well, well. Lots of bodies they were. This must be a side entrance. What do we have back here? It kind of looks like this town has seen very... Oh, this is, must be the slums. And that must be Levant proper. I get what's going on here. So after I gather the required material materials, I can probably just sneak back in via the slums over there. Spooky. I love those waves of, like, heat that you could see in the desert floor. You know, it's not very often that I see a game manage to make a desert landscape actually look beautiful. Usually these are pretty boring in other video games. Try to get down here without killing myself on accident, hmm? Let's see, there's a cave here. This must be the exit that we found last time. Walked around, got ourselves lost last time. More cacti here to consume. Ah! Fuck! Shit! God damn it, I should have been expecting that. I don't know why I'm surprised. Oh my god, that spooked me. Oh my god. Fucking giant in bugs. It looks like rocks. Oh. Oh my god, I'm legit spooked. Oh shit, that hurt. I get the impression that that thing didn't even get, didn't even flinch just now. Hey, you know how to block? Smart ass insects. Oh shit, ow. Ow, ow, ow. I really need to get better armor. Huh. No ammunition equipped? Oh, balls. Balls, balls, balls. Okay. Is he still chasing me? I see you there, asshole. He's got his proboscis sticking out. Ew, ew, ew. Well, you're dead. Good fucking riddance. Oh my god. Was that Palladium I just picked out of his corpse? It was. So you see, that was totally not a waste of time after all. Uh, that was exhilarating. I'm out of arrows though. 
I don't think it's in my best interest to stay out here much longer. Especially... Uh, oh, oil? Cool. I guess you want to stay out of sunlight? This desert's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go actually go ahead and see if I can mine anything before heading back. Really quick. Alright, some iron scrap made. I wonder how diff how difficult it would be to fight that oh, it shoots fire! It shoots fire. It shoots fire. Okay. That answers my question. Oh, it's also fairly dumb. Shit. Hey, I blocked, I blocked a fireball with my shield somehow. Didn't expect that to happen. Did I just kick a giant beetle? I did. That was so cool. <laughs> I kicked it in the back. I kicked it in the face and it knocked him with the rear back. <laughs> oh, no, what's that? Is that the San Rose Cave? And there's uh, there's people coming out of it too. Um, bandits, I guess. Huh. Let's probably not antagonize them right now. You can't get too drunk on victory. That's how you die in games like this. Still, I'm so stoked that this uh, outing to the desert, desert went so much better than I was expecting. I didn't even go that far yet. Oh, wait, no, that's the corpse. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, okay. So, so how are you guys today? It is hump day. It is Wednesday. We're halfway through the week already. Again. <laughs> oh, Thursday for you. Still Wednesday for me, though. <laughs> All right. Greetings, friend. Can you lend me a hand? <laughs> yes. Can you lend me a hand? <laughs> uh, I don't have any alpha jerky either. It's going to take me forever to get to. Unless it's being sold at the chef upstairs. Oh, I know that feel. I haven't gotten decent sleep in a few weeks now. 
Unfortunately, I've gotten. To, it looks like my uh, predilection for going to sleep at three or four in the or three in the morning or so has become habit forming. Has become a habit. Become a habit. Has become a habit. So it's starting. It's kind of difficult to break at the moment. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. What's this person sell again? What could I do for you? Pressure play training. For 50. They got this backstab. I think I should learn pressure play training. But I don't have any charges to use for my pressure plates, so I've just been selling them lately. the entrance to it is right yeah Just let me go there we go what to buy oh boy Okay, how much for this dried insect husk? 11? Pressure play trap. Thank you. Now then, can I help you? This worries me. Do you have any alpha jerky, buddy? I guess alpha jerky is even be is even. You sleep so well if you can sleep from 4 a.m. to 12 p.m. Now that's a mood. Ah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He does not sell alpha jerky. I am sad. Well, I can only go so far with that. I guess I'll have to find alpha jerky later. In the meanwhile, let us go ahead and make us some more arrows because i refuse to buy arrows when i could just everything is so expensive in this town I know I've said that before, but... I need to recover health. Hmm. 
Can I? This worries me. What do you have for sale this time? Everything over here is obnoxious. We're gonna go hunting outside again. Find more stuff to sell. People to kill. The usual. But we're gonna go through the slums. This feels like that exit's a lot safer anyway. I had a meat stew, but unfortunately, I turned one of them into a ration by accident. <laughs> so, no meat stew for right now, unfortunately. I'm sure I'll be able to make do. Oh man, it is blazing heat out here. Let's find some shadows to chill under. What the? Hey, didn't I just kill you? Another one? Alright. Let's do this thing. Oh man, you run really fast too, don't you? I could probably fight it from up there. Come on. Come on. Oh, no way! You blocked that, didn't you? Bastard. Oh, shit. This targeting system really fucks you over sometimes. And I think it's actually running, moving faster now. Ow. Or something? I feel like I'm going to fucking kill myself using the targeting system. Oh, that's just great. It has learned how to block. Ow. Did I die? Damn it. Oh, man. Where's my bag? Thank you. I'm poisoned too. Good thing I got so many of these antidotes.
On the bright side, we have another place to explore. So that's always good. Fishing harpoon. Water skin. Special... Well, isn't that useful? Getting some real aliens vibes here. Creepy. Is that it? Is that, is that all there is to escaping this here? Just exit right there? Hmm. Mm, okay. Not as bad as I thought then. Where are we now? What time is it? Seven in the evening. Wait, we were just here, weren't we? I thought this place looked familiar. I think I'm pretty far from the city limits. So that's where the city is, and I'm all the way over here. Wait, if that's a city, then where... Oh man, we are far. Well, that's kind of cool. Having literal ships over there in the middle of the... Hmm. some shells there as well. I'm getting the impression that I'm probably supposed to be traveling at the even traveling desert in the evening instead of in the daytime. Amalite. That could be useful. I need to get down there without killing myself. Somehow, I think that's going to be a lot easier said than done. Some nasty looking creepy crawlies there as well. But imagine this stuff that might be in there. The loot. I was also told to kill a shark and sell their flesh to some guy. Oh, I figured. I just don't want to get myself trapped, basically. Let me see how well I fare fighting one of these shark boys. With no lava girl in sight. Oh, man, they are fast. A lot less health than the, uh, insect boys, though. A lot less health. I 
I might even be able to actually fight this with melee. Maybe? We'll see. Oh, man. What did I just get hit by? I won. I won. Awesome. But I've been afflicted by something. Elemental vulnerability. Oh, that sucks. Can we eat something to compensate? Maybe some... Or we could use that. Should probably also manage myself a little bit. I wonder if I could hide in that tower for the evening. I missed with a kick. Okay. I feel pretty confident about killing sharks now, it seems like. Oh, they had a... It has... I don't know. Interesting. Alright, I definitely should heal up for real this time. I'm always curious about these butterflies being in random places. I wonder what that is. Because here depart shipwrecks. Are those the docks that they're talking about? Or. Sus. So this is the Wind Outpost. I thought the Wind Outpost was bigger than this. Or is it just small in this area? And why is it considered a dungeon? I mean, the people here are nice. More or less. Oh, what the fuck? Why is it hostile? And how do you fight that? Oh, shit. Oh. We are not sleeping in the wind cabal's tongue. We are not sleeping there. <laughs> All right, new plan. I want to see what's inside that tunnel. So we are going to take a rest for now. I'm gonna go inside there, kill whatever that thing is.
I am hot and I am thirsty, but am I legend? Right. Let's do it. Man, this thing hits like a truck. And I'm dead again. I can't imagine trying to play this game in hardcore mode. Maybe a little too hardcore for me. Or maybe I just need to get good. Whichever comes first. Hey, Gib. Thanks a lot. Again. Always appreciated. Still, what a pain in the ass. Alright, so that's the Cabal of the Wind Tower. I wonder what's at the Walled Garden, then. That's supposed to be south of here, right? Hmm. There should be a land bridge around here somewhere. Is there no fruit here to me? Huh? Oh, you could talk to it? That's interesting. Okay, so if this is the Cabal of the Wind Tower, where is the bridge that leads to Terabithia? Or, oh, it's over there, okay. All right, let's go over there then. Are there rocks to mine? I guess we should visit one thing at a time, huh? Let's check out this walled garden. Uh, oh man. Something tells me that's I don't want to fight that thing right now. Can we sneak around it? We can try to sneak around it.
Sweet. And as it is a garden, it has all these cool items I can... Worth. Totally worth it. It's kind of amazing how this garden is so well kept despite this being in the middle of nowhere. Protected by, automata by automatons. I like the change in music too. I'm going to take a wild guess that that thing is definitely- are those the immortals or whatever? They certainly do not look friendly, that's for sure. Let's avoid them. If I can. Is there only one of them? If there's only one, maybe I can... It's a fancy looking tree. Oh, he's going up the stairs. I wonder if she's looking who she's looking for. Oh no. There's more than one of them. I don't think they've noticed me. Do 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 do. Carefully. Not gonna let me harvest the let me let me harvest your sweet sweet cacti fruits, please. Guess not. I can gather these crimp things though. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Nope, oh, they definitely notice me now, and they are not happy, and there's a dead body here. Full of uh, chemical regents, for whatever reason. Oh, there's more than one dead body here. Uh, what the fuck happened to this place? How did I get up here without them noticing? Why is everyone dead? Well, I've taken everything. Oh my god. This is such bad planning on my part, but if we can get out of this alive, it would be great. Did they kill the feathered bird? If they did, we can you we can consume its body to get super fast run speed and just get out of dodge. With him blocking the entrance, there's no- for whatever that thing- gender that thing is, blocking the entrance, I can't go out that way now. Uh, and it spotted me. Yes, I'm aware that I'm hot. Thank you for noticing. Let me consume- Consume one of these. 
and also one of these. If I can just get to that bird, I can loot its corpse for even more iridescent steak, which should make escaping from here so much easier. Or it could accidentally screw me! Fuck it! Going through the front entrance! Wow! That actually worked! Huh! Woo! Can't believe I just- Oh god! There's only one, right? Uh, no, I'm not gonna risk it. Unless he doesn't, he insists on continuing to follow me. I just kicked a dog. I just killed a mechanical dog. Oh, man. That was fun. I will not do it again until I sell and make 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 use of some of these things. Thank you so much, Geb. Whew. Oh, that was exciting. Back to town we go, I suppose. It take us a little while to get back to town, but fairly confident we can make the journey. Especially with all these buffs. Yeah, looks like we have a clear line of sight to the front entrance. Hmm, more cacti. Another iridescent bird. Do we even have any arrows left? Three? That will not do. I probably shouldn't risk it. Wow, there's actually godberry fruit out here. Who'd have thought? There's actually a separate entrance over there that's been boarded up with rocks. Water entrance. Safety at last. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. 
Can I help you? This worries me. Okay, what are you going to buy for me, dude? Hmm. Wait, I got blue sand, which means I can build more of those sand, make more of those sand armors from earlier. Palladium spikes. I can't make most of these potions because I don't have an alch I don't have an alchemy kit. This is such a beautiful looking weapon. And what can you sell me, my dude? A Kopesh? Mm. A wide black hat? No, their prices here are so stupidly inflated. Forget that. This actually came in helpful. I'm gonna keep one of these in case I need to use it again. Thank you. And yet, I still have too much stuff in my inventory. That needs yet to be... Definitely need to sell the shark cartilage to someone. But I forget who it goes to. Hmm. 
you find a red idol. I think it's the chef that was selling the... that was looking for shark cartilage, right? Can I help you? This worries me. Here, a gift. Oh, thank you. Huh. Awesome. What did he give me? Meringues, right? Okay. Bag is still way overweight though. I need to get rid of more stuff. Can I help you? This worries me. The things I do sometimes. Can you even afford this, dude? 180 to... Oh, man. I'm cleaning him out. I don't think I've ever been so rich before. At least as far as this game's concerned. 640. I'm gonna turn four of these into golden guts. Thank you for your sir for your patronage. Okay. Cool. Want to buy something? Oh boy! Everything costs too much here. to leave this place, how would I... Oh! I need to go cook food first. Go to the Holy Nation next and see what they're like over there. I'm not as afraid of traveling in the dark now because it seems to be better for my health overall. As long as I don't get ambushed. Well, I made about 640 gold. I somehow survived the trip back. I somehow looted the hell out of the uh, walled garden without dying. 
I killed a robot doggo. I got back to town one piece, sold a bunch of stuff that I didn't need and couldn't use, finished a couple of fetch quests, and now I'm going to try and head back, or head out of the desert, and head towards the marsh. Something tells me that's going to be fairly difficult, though. Or I might get distracted and start mining some uh, stone. Who knows? We'll see. Gonna see how well I do trying to get back there at least. Maybe I could follow this river here and like find a a uh, shortcut. Hmm. If we could just avoid the insects on our journey there, it shouldn't be so bad. See, let's try and find the riverbed, which should be around here somewhere, and we'll follow that eastward. Or westward, I should say. Because that's the town. Okay. We can do this. What's this? Okay. That's the uh, walled garden to my right. So we're going the right direction. We should be going this way again. The walled garden is pretty cool. I would like to go back there and see why there's so many corpses, but maybe later, when I have better equipment. Way better equipment. Oh, what's that? Hmm. A stash. Don't mind if I do. Pretty sure that's an insect waiting. Hmm. Explosives, bullets, and arrows. Thank you. I think I sold my last pressure plate trap, though. I really should invest in a handgun. those bulbous things over there in the distance are. Are those cuckoo colossal hives? That's to the south. We want to go to the west. Over there towards the stone titan. Or... or we can go visit the ship. Oh, I forgot about that. That's a good idea.
I wonder what we could find here. These godforsaken sp our ships. May I'll go back to town and sell with my loot there as well. Thank you. The desert's so pretty at night. More corpses of these things just laying around. And Amolite. Thank you, I do need some Amolite. I know there's some creepy crawlies around here, so I had to be careful. There's one. For example. Just gonna loot what we can and then get out. I wonder if those are the fabled manticores that people were talking about. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a shark in here. I'm okay with this, surprisingly. Why am I taking damage all of a sudden? Oh shit. One second. He bleeding still? I Maybe mean, I could wait him out. Yep, I was able to wait him out. Thank goodness. Oh, harrowing as always. No stamina block. Rip. Glad I still made it anyway. Can you open a knight's corpse? Hmm. I have a spear in here too. I wonder what fighting with a spear would be like. Nah. Another spear. Hmm. 
change of plans. Maybe we will, in fact, head back to town, sell this loot, and then we'll make our journey back to Sirza. Or failing that, if not to Sirzo, then at least just back to um, Berg. You, well, I figured you need an alchemy thing to brew potions, and I never bothered to buy one of those. I know how to make tea, but that's about it. Are those the fabled manticores that they are asking me to kill earlier? I doubt I can kill that because with the state I am, but it'd be nice to know for that la Nate later. Nice pieces of ammo I scattered around as well. Is this blue? Is it? Oh, it's ammo light. Okay. Hmm. Let me lower the brightness setting of my key light here really quick. There we go. It's less in my face now. I wonder if I can kill that thing with just my bow and arrow. It looks fairly scary, but if I can find a place to shoot it from... Along with some... Oh, oh shoot! It shoots projectiles at you! And it noticed me. That's not good. Wait. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Am I freezing to death? I am. I'm getting too cold. Wait. 
Where is that potion for weather? Thank you. Uh, it's definitely a chimera. How did it hit me from that far? Holy shit. I hope I got to keep my bag. At least I knew where it is if I didn't. Oh, thank goodness. That could have been so much worse. Unfortunately, it also means that I had to use up some of my potions to get out of that, but it could have totally been so much worse. Let's go to bed. We're gonna go back. We're gonna sell some of the stuff and then go back to our original plan from before. That is to say. Going back to the forest, going back to Berg, completing some more quests, and then making our way back to Sirza. And then we'll check out the marshlands after that. <laughs> Blanky burrito and Amy sounds pretty good. Is it? That probably makes sense. That's a nice quality of life thing too, honestly. Because this game seems so hard sometimes. Oh man, my tower shield needs to be fixed. I did some damage to that manticore thing too, but it still kicked my ass. I didn't realize it could like leap across the whole, you know. I also definitely need to get better gear. Armor and such. I should probably invest in armor next is what I think. Because I can, I've noticed that I can do fairly decent damage, all things considered, but everything else is suffering. I get like the shit punched out. Can I help you? This worries me. Like the brutal spear, or maybe spears in general. Hmm. Oh, my cactus fruit's spoiling. I didn't even realize. So are my rations, actually. I have not yet. I just been TK are keeping notes of the breakthroughs that are available.
<laughs> Can I? This worries me. Alright. If there's nothing else, we will go ahead and make our try to make our way back out of the desert into... You know. I wonder if you can actually wield a spear and a shield at once, or if you need to get a breakthrough for that. Or if you have to get to learn a uh, skill for that. So that would be very useful, I imagine. Um, I met the teachers in Berg, in Levant, and Sirza already. But I haven't been to... The last place I want to visit is the Holy City, which is where I was originally going to go to for today's uh, session, but then I got distracted. And since I just had my ass handed to me again, when I got distracted and went on expo went exploring, I think it's time to go back to my original plan of escaping the desert and heading back to Emmerker Forest. And we shall do so by crossing the desert. Goodness knows, I have plenty of supplies to do so. So I could probably just make a beeline from here to there. Maybe. Who's following me? Oh, those little boys. I'm not afraid of those. They're not that dangerous. <laughs> Iridescent birds. Alright, we're nearing the Colossal Hives. Looks like some ruins over there. Hives to the left. Hmm. A lone tree in the middle of nowhere. Curious. Another fruit to keep us replenished while we leave the desert. Ah, more fruit. Sometimes this desert's good to me. Only sometimes. Ooh. 
Now this is more like it. No more sandals for me. A desert kopesh, huh? That's an interesting looking weapon. Huh. Very interesting indeed. It's a... Uh... Some bandits. Decent shields, kopeshes, and armor. I'm not liking my chances right now. We better just avoid them this time. Did they not realize I'm here? Or did they just take a long about wait to escape or to leave? Well, whatever. The desert is plentiful with fruit. Feels good, man. Yeah, I was wearing sandals this whole time. Ah, oh, more bandits. Alright. We're up here. Let's continue westward. More of those funny boys. Hmm. What's this? A kiln? Out here in the middle of nowhere? Interesting. Where are we? Should be around here somewhere, so I imagine we must be nearing on the... ...on our destination. Never dead automaton. And just like that, we're back at the oasis. Strange though. Um, that caravan that I saw here last time I was here it seems to be missing. That wasn't so bad, though.
I can't wait to come back to the desert in the near in the near future. Onwards. Back to Berg. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and look what's here to greet me. Next time, though. Suddenly, these bandits don't seem so scary, do they? AI still needs some work, it looks like. Oh. Right as I say that, too. Fuck, really, you... Did you really? One second. to focus on you, asshole. Are starting to get sweaty. That was fun, though. It's like a welcome home present. I hear the sounds of battle. Is someone else fighting? Let me pick up the spear. Thank you. That's a terrible idea. Move it to the bag. Wait, am I cold? Here? Of all places? Come on. Must fit in my imagination then. Thank you.
I'm surprised I actually find a cold right now. Hmm. Interesting. Here we go. Much better. It's gonna be good to be back home, or home I should say. Home ish, I should say. In a slightly safer place than where I was earlier. I also tend to like forest areas in general. In real life and online. Now then. Where is Burke again? <laughs> Wait, I remember. In this general direction, if I recall correctly. <laughs> and just like that, we're back in Berg. Whew. Back in Burger Town. Angry Berg, even. So much stuff to sell. Hey there. Hey there, Peel. Long time no see. And boy, do I have stuff for you.
They don't pay as much here for the same stuff, do they? I guess that makes sense. And look at all this oil I can sell. What you got for sale here? The luxury tent. Yeah, man. I have a lot of gold at this point. 800, in fact. <laughs> now then. I know I had some quests left to do here. That's part of the reason I came back home. To Vade Alchemist and Berg, okay. So we need to go visit the Alchemist really quick. Here we went a little too far. This is an inn. How can I help you? You earned this. Hmm. Awesome. Want to try? I want to spend this blue sand, meanwhile, on forging myself some more armor, and also picking up my armor from Serzo. can. Good idea. How can I help you? Let's see Astral Potion. These all require alchemy kits though. Which I guess I could buy one now since it's only 60. Something tells me I probably should uh, do that because it's getting to the point where I need potions to keep myself alive instead of food. And I got a lot of silver at this point. A lot of silver. See now. I don't know. Fire rag, spiritual varnish, mist potion. I know life potion, hex cleaner. I know how to make an astral potion. I don't know how to make these though. Hmm. Cool. What's an astral potion do anyway? Mana, dark varnish, applies decay, life potion. Which you need for making life push. Okay. 
Oh, I know where to find all these things. Hmm. Don't never seen that before. But these are easy to find. Interesting. Okay. Meat stew. But I don't want to use my iridescent steak for a rare bird brain yet. Uh, just yet. The cacti, however, are about to go bad. Unfortunately. Not bad. Want to buy something? I wonder. Here's what I need. <laughs> I see that. Ooh. So turn of pottage. Stringy salad. Fungal cleanser. Whatever this is. Alpha sandwich. Presumably a sandwich made from alpha meat. And some bread. I need to know how to do this one though. Because of alpha jerky. So we'll purchase that. All right, let's do it. Alpha jerky is learned. All in all, we're doing pretty well for ourselves right now. Feels good, man. Feels good indeed. I could wear the bird face again. Give a second donation to Pigeon Eye, it is for a good cause. When did that when did I get that? Guess I'll have to do that later, so do that later though. In the meanwhile, let's go ahead and take a short tra a trip all the way back to Shirzo. Which, presuming I don't freeze to death, shouldn't be too bad. Of a trip, I mean. What can I do for you?
Dang, if only I had six more. Oh, wait. This worries me. That's right. Thank you. What can I do for you? Sniper shot. <laughs> Feel myself getting stronger with each. Awesome. Helen. It may be late in the evening, but... Actually, let's go to bed. 2.57. I'll actually... It's been 2 hours 57 seconds. I may have to get going fairly soon, but let's see how... Let's see if we can at least get back to Serzo before I have to end the stream for today. But we're gonna go to bed. Since it's safer to walk to move in the daytime here in Ermerka Forest, and it is back in the desert. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, Jones. Thank you for stopping by again.
such a beautiful morning in the Imrico Forest. Why are you injured? Hey, infiltration, long time no see. Thanks for the foods. Nom 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 nom. How are you today? I must have taken a wrong turn at Albuquerque. So that's definitely not the way out of the forest. Uh, why do you guys want to fuck with me so much? I'm going to kick your ass. I'm doing great, thank you. Thanks for asking. Just trying to make it back to my home place before I end the stream for today. And these uh, low-level NPCs have a death wish. I think I might have found the correct path, though. There's the Lonely Towers. <laughs> yeah, we're on the way track, right track. It's not even... The sun hasn't even risen yet. Actually, before I go, there is one last thing I would like to do while I'm here in Emmercor Forest. If I can. If they're even still there. Where are you, you son of a bitch? I know where you were here last time. Maybe they got killed by a different mook? And didn't respawn? Hmm. I may be pretty wrong. Guess I cannot get revenge today after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never mind. No revenge today. The ghosties that used to haunt this place seem to have vanished for now. Dolmen Crypt. Another place to explore. Well then, since revenge is off the menu, let's go ahead and leave Enmerkor Forest. For now. It's been a while since we've been back to Sirzo. Hmm. 
doubt anything has changed either. But it'll be good to be back home, so to speak. Angry Berg. Shit, it's still cold here. I guess we will need to take care of that um hmm. where's my weather potions here's one some places really don't change do they time to go back home Oh, it's a doggo. I can fight this one just fine. Hey, he killed a hyena. I was trying to do that. Oh man, I'm out of stamina. That's not good. Gotcha, bitch. You thought. You thought wrong. Uh. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. I'm back home in Serzo. Oh, that wasn't smart to me, was it? All right, fine. Put this in the bag. There we go. Do 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 say I'm really glad I decided to stream this game. It's really fun. Pretty much does everything that I wish uh, Skyrim did. The things that are uh, not player friendly, that are hyper immersive. 
sort of things that for, that for the longest time I didn't think were valued in modern game design anymore, but they totally are. It just takes the right kind of developer to make them, and the right kind of player to play them. Not that I claim to be particularly good at these type of games, but, you know. How do I reach that? <laughs> hey, did it stop snowing? I guess it's no longer winter, huh? Interesting. Oh my god. Insta killed. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely glorious. So, this is the power of sniper shot. Can't wait to try out my new skills on all the other enemies sitting or hanging on the route here. Almost home. Almost home. Do salt.
back home. Really wish they would give me my lighthouse back there. Honey, I'm home. A black pearl board. Never seen that before. Feels like a lifetime since I've been here. Good old cooking pot still here too. Backpack. And the blue sand boots, which give me a lot of armor resistance. Thanks for reminding me of why I've come back home. It's time to craft myself some armor that's not going to get me killed. Hey there, Lad Hammer. What can I do for you? Here's what I need. So I need three blue sand and five blue sand for the armor, huh? How much blue sand do I even have? Two? I need to hold on to that then. Or, better yet, just buy it from someone, I guess. Hey there, homie. Hey there. Here. This is yours. Hey there. Here's the plan. Hey, <laughs> listen. Here. This is yours. <laughs> Hey there. So you can repeat that, huh? Is there something you need? You've earned this. Thank you for the aquamarines. Is there something you need? Amalite boots? So I know how to make amalite boots? Since when? Man, palladium scrap, padded boots, and amylite. It's kind of cool. Amylite's not even that hard to go by. You can find that on the beach. The padded boots and the palladium scrap. Would pro the palladium scrap I, you would need to get from the desert. And the padded boots you can just buy at any town for cheap. To be fair, he is teaching me how to make them, so... Is there something you need? What else do you sell, my dude? 
Fair T, Amalite Armor. I wonder if Helmy sells any blue sand that I can buy off her. Hey there. No, I figured it wouldn't be that easy. They can't make it that easy on you. Let me sell some of my junk to this guy though, while I'm here. Is there something you need? There's nothing that I need, but I have plenty to give, my dude. Don't need the Yeah. Looks like we'll have to go soon, chap. Let me just clean up here and we'll get to it. Kind of cool seeing us go from abject poverty into whatever this is. I wonder if I can... I can! Awesome! I was able to turn them back into scrap! Huh. That's cool. Which means I could make... Palladium bo or boots if I really wanted to. Is there something you need? Amalite boots, I mean. Just need one thing of palladium scrap, one pad of boots, and some amalite. Amalite's fairly easy to come by, so I should be able to find some of that stuff myself. Hey there. If I don't find blue sand first, of course, and you know, use that instead. Amber, my friend. Amber, my friend. <laughs> Amber, my friend. I say, though. This is fairly useful. What can I do for you? I wonder. Well, chat, looks like we got pretty far in the game today. We've gone from abject poverty to being um, fairly rich. What we, what with what, 800 freaking ingots here, 800 gold. Just uh, scavenging and selling stuff we find in the wilderness. Killing mercenary or killing thieves what and could I do for you? all kinds of cr all creepy right. crawlies. Hell, buying I could buy out this whole store if I really want to. 
but I find it more rewarding to use stuff to use equipment I've built myself, so I don't think I'll be doing that. Not this stage in the game anyway. Yeah, see what can I'm I hoping do for you? that I can Here's find more sand and pay for these things here. Eventually. What boots am I wearing? Scavenger boots still? Blue sand boots are make me slower and cost more, a little bit of stamina. But the defenses they provide are fairly significant. I probably should have been wearing these the whole this whole time. Honestly. Cause let's see, what's this thing? I wish that there were tool tests for these. That told you what you were, what defenses you were getting, or what these things meant. It might be, I thought it was fire at first, but this is fire, lightning, no idea what this is. Bludgeoning, stabbing I guess, I don't know. Poison, is that magic? <laughs> Looks like I'm still overburdened with stuff. I'll need to deposit or use up most of these things. I should probably at least use the cooking pot, make sure none of it spoils. That would suck right about now. Especially at raw meat. I think we'll spend some time when we come back next week visiting more Shirzo, especially since I'm in a far better position to fight and have more skills and better equipment. Should be a fun time. Look forward to seeing all of you there. Okay. Who should we raid tonight, if anyone? <laughs> Dude, Guy Joy is playing Apex Legends. Recoil the Hero is playing Oddworld right now. Carrie Dreams playing Rainbow Six Siege. I think just about anyone here would be decent. Let's go see how Narnar is doing as he playing Elden Ring, shall we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here you go. Prepare your raid messages and let's get going. And once again, thank you so much for visiting. This coming Friday, we do have another Strive tournament. So you're all welcome to watch me get my ass kicked there. Hopefully I'll play a little bit better this time. If only because I have a better grasp of the mechanics. Thank you so much once again for coming to today's stream. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And see you later. Have a good night.